Hi, my name is Richard O3 Vets. I'm really excited today to share with you guys our brand new ozone generator, the Ozone Barrick P. As you can see, immediately it comes in a hard proof case with foam inserts, which is going to be perfect for um, a veterinarian clinic, for transporting it to house calls, or even working on a farm with large animals. There are tons of things about this ozone generator that are very unique. So let's go ahead and move forward and I'll show you guys how to operate the Ozonobaric P. So let's go ahead and see what will come when you receive your Ozonobaric P. We'll undo the latches here. What you'll have is you'll have some oxygen tubing for connecting your oxygen cylinder to the Ozonobaric P. You will also have your standard power cord. And these are some check valves to protect the Ozonobaric P which we will discuss a little bit later. The first step of connecting your oxygen tank to the ozonobaric P is to take the oxygen tubing and insert it right here. You will need to press firmly and pull down in order to lock it in place. The next step is to insert the other side of the oxygen tubing into the port here on the back. Again, press firmly and pull back. After this step, you may go ahead and insert the power cord into the back of the ozone generator. Before turning on the Ozonobaric P, you'll need to turn on your oxygen regula regulator and your oxygen tank. Make sure the setting on your oxygen regulator is either at 8 or the highest setting that it could be set to. As the Ozonobaric P actually has an internal regulator which will be able to use the appropriate flow rate when needed automatically. Go ahead and flip the on switch on the back of the ozone generator right above where the power cord was inserted. The ozonobaric P will go through a process of testing itself and calibrating before it will be ready to be operated. There are four different ways to produce ozone with the ozonobaric P. There is syringe method, continuous ozone, dose, bagging, and then there is a fifth option to vacuum. So this will be used for maybe an example of a ozone limb bag, which we are wanting to evacuate before and after the procedure in order to get oxygen out or to evacuate any ozone gas that may still be in the bag after the procedure. I will go ahead and demonstrate for you how to use a syringe with the Ozonobaric P. Go ahead and take your lower lock syringe and connect it to the out port on the Ozonobaric P. Afterwards, go ahead and select syringe by pressing this button. And here you may slide your finger in order to select the desired concentration level. I'll go ahead and just select 45 micrograms per milliliter. Press this button in order to start the procedure. What the ozonobaric P will do is that it will calibrate itself to ensure that all of the gas that is being produced is 45 micrograms per milliliter or whatever concentration you may have selected. There is a special sensor in the ozonobaric P which will detect when the syringe is actually full and will stop. Now, whenever you are finished with the um, ozone, whatever you have left over, you may go ahead and evacuate it here. One thing I would like to quickly mention is that 
the out port on the ozonoberic P is able to detect whenever there is a syringe connected. If there is not a syringe connected, it will not allow you to produce ozone. In some situations, we will recommend you to use this check valve. The purpose of this is to stop any fluids from entering into the ozonoberic P. However, with the syringe method, we would just like to caution you that if this is connected, it will think that there is a syringe attached and will start releasing ozone if there is not a syringe on here. So just want you to be aware of that if you will be using these regularly. Let's move on to the continuous ozone flow. Go ahead and slide your finger over to select the correct setting. Press enter. Here it would ask you to select the desired concentration. The next screen will then ask you about the duration of time of the flow of ozone. This screen is going to ask you what desired flow rate, meaning how fast do you want the ozone to flow out of the machine. Press enter. Now it's going to calibrate itself in order to produce the desired ozone. The next setting is dosage. Select enter and this screen will ask you about the concentration of ozone that you would like to use. Here it is asking about the total dose that you would like to deliver to the patient. Select the dose and go ahead and press enter. Here again, just like every other setting, it will go ahead and calibrate itself to make sure that it is producing the proper concentration of ozone. Now I'll demonstrate how to perform an ozone limb bag treatment with the ozonoberic P. Go ahead and use your finger to slide down to bagging. You're going to select the concentration of the ozone gas that you will be introducing into the bag. The next step is to choose the duration of time of the treatment. It is important to note that this duration of time is not beginning with the ozone bag being filled, but after the ozone bag is filled with the desired volume of gas, then it, this is the time that the ozonoberic P will stop and allow the patient to be exposed to the ozone gas. Now, th this is going to be the vacuuming time. When the bag is connected to the ozone generator, the ozonoberic P will actually vacuum out the ambient air that will naturally be inside the bag on the patient. So here you would select the amount of time that you would want that to be vacuuming out that air. And that's going to just depend upon what is the size of the bag, the size of the limb that may be inside the bag, and how much space is actually there. Now here you're gonna choose the actual volume of gas that will be filled inside the bag. Between one and 10 liters, you're able to fill. Now I'd like to demonstrate how to properly connect an ozone limb bag to the ozonoberic P. Please note that presently I have installed these check valves onto each port in order to help protect the ozonoberic P. Many times when we're doing um, limb bagging, it is good to moisten the area that is being treated. Because of this, we want to be careful of introducing any water inside of the ozonoberic P. So you will connect one tube from the ozone out port to one of the ports on the ozone limb bag. Now connect another tube from the ozone destruct to the other port on the, on the ozone limb bag. A very good general rule is that the highest point of the bag is where you would be introducing the ozone. 
This is because ozone is heavier than air and naturally go collect at the bottom. Now that we have the ozone limb bag properly connected to the ozonobaric P, I'll go ahead and start the procedure. As I may have mentioned earlier, the first step is to vacuum out the ambient air inside of the ozone limb bag. Now, the ozonobaric P will fill the limb bag with the proper amount of concentration and volume that was pre-selected. Before that, the ozonobaric P will set the proper amount of concentration. After the duration of the procedure is finished, the ozonobaric P will automatically vacuum out the volume of ozone gas that was initially introduced into the bag. At this point, the procedure is finished. If at any point you need to manually vacuum out ozone gas, you can use your finger to slide down to vacuum, press the enter button, and select the desired amount of time to vacuum and press enter.